Hey ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to show you a different way you can use Scratch. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to create, open our editor, and this time instead of just doing a simple animation that runs by itself, we're going to actually use user input. What I mean by that is the keyboard, actually controlling the object on screen using keyboard commands. So there's a couple different ways to set this up, and I'll show you pretty much the most straightforward. So number one, we're going to click on events, and we're going to click and drag the second one out. It says when space key is pressed. I'm going to drop that down over here in our editing window. Now you'll notice that you have the option of changing which key gets pressed and the action underneath it will occur. So we're going to make our cat use the arrow keys to move around. So I'm going to click on up arrow, so like such. So now when up arrow key is pressed, we want our kitty cat over here to move up. Well, if you think of the window as XY coordinates, well, that would be positive in the Y direction. So we'd want to go up on the Y axis. So if you look through all of your different options right here, one of them says change Y by 10. So I'm going to click that one together. Now, if I press the up arrow key on my keyboard, there goes the kitty. Now, if I press down or left or right, nothing else is happening right now. So, well, let's add those keys. I'm going to events, and we're going to drag out that same command, and this time we'll change it to the down arrow. Instead of changing Y by 10, we're going to want to change y by negative 10. So we're going to click here, and we're going to add a minus sign. So now, when I move the click on the down arrow, there it goes. You'll see something else interesting happens. Watch the box right here when I press the up arrow. You'll notice it flashes, and it's got a yellow outline around it. Same thing when I press the down key. You'll see there's kind of a yellow box that flashes really quickly. That shows which routine is being used or which code is being used. We'll go over here to events and we'll do our left and rights. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to drag both of these out. When space key is pressed, we're going to change to the right arrow. We'll change it to the left arrow over here. Now, left and right. Well, going towards the left would be negative on the x-axis. Going to the right would be positive on the x-axis. So we'll go over here to motion. We'll change our x value by 10. And we'll change our x value by negative 10. So now, when I press the up arrow, the cat moves up. When I press the down arrow, the cat moves down. When I press the left arrow, he moves to the left, and when I press the right arrow, he moves to the right. Now I'll change these around just because it actually looks a little confusing if I have them set like that. It's easier to have left and right. So left, right, up and down. And there he goes. Now, if we wanted to make it look like he was actually walking or moving, the easiest thing to do is just go over here to looks. And if you remember last time, all the different costumes that are available, if we just add the next costume code to each of these, every time we move the arrow, it looks like he's walking. So this is just a really simple way to add a user input into your Scratch program.